Changing Agro Scenarios in India Agrarian to Agriculture Information Technology AIT Let's have a review. The seventh largest country in the world in terms of its geographical size and second in world population. India has a large and diverse agriculture and is one of the world's leading producers. It is also a major consumer with an expanding population feeding nearly 1.1 billion people. In India, farmers traditionally followed agrarian cultivation. They depend on nature for yield and often met their needs with the resources available. They cultivated crops with diverse variety depending on season and rotated crops for keeping the soil fertile. It is not a violent red revolution like that of the Soviets, nor is it a white revolution like that of the Shah of Iran. I call it the Green Revolution. These were the words quoted by former USAID director William God. The Green Revolution Initiative 1965 provided the much needed increase in production to make India self-sufficient in food grains, thus improving agriculture in India. The Green Revolution nearly quadrupled the production of rice and wheat, transforming India's fertile areas into granaries. Since then, India has no longer been dependent on the foreign grain and food aid shipments from the United States. With increased production, India repaid her loans while progressing on the path to self-sufficiency. Few decades down the road, when need turned to greed, it is evident that the benefits of the Green Revolution are associated with unanticipated harmful effects of chemicals. Pesticide companies blame farmers for not adhering to prescribed quantities and not using protective gear. Workers who spray the chemicals blame landlords for not investing in protection and companies for not properly informing them of the dangers of exposure. Farmers claim it is greedy dealers who push them to spray more and also blame the government's failure to change its policies. Such vicious chain reactions brought about the harmful side effects of the Green Revolution. In spite of such lame arguments, let's look at an in-depth analysis of the real picture. Let's take a look at the pest associated losses in crops. 14% of the total agro production. The losses that has occurred has been immense. 84% in cotton, 83% in rice, 74% in potato, 59% in maize, 58% in soybean, and 52% in wheat. Alas, farmer suicides signal larger agrarian crisis. Our nation faces a potential problem. This has eventually led to a drastic decline of pesticide companies. The statistics being shown cut a sorry figure. This has left the common farmer in no man's land and has now here to go. Such a state of poverty has led them in search and need of new technologies such as insect resistant BT crops. But this technology has not got the support to expand to other crops such as brinjal. Such technologies should not be made into controversial issues. Rather, they need to be promoted for better livelihood and sustainment. If India intends to avoid another humanitarian crisis in the near future, it has got to address these issues now. The need of the hour for India is a farming system that is sustainable and environmentally safe. Agricultural Information Technology The very reason behind a promising future of agriculture. The agricultural sector in India is currently passing through a difficult phase. The Indian farmer urgently requires timely and reliable sources of information inputs for taking decisions. At present, the farmer depends on the need for decision inputs from conventional sources which are slow and unreliable. The bane of Indian agriculture is not lack of technology, R&D efforts, it is inadequacy and inefficiencies that lead to the dissemination of relevant information in the farming sector. 
So information and communication technology in agriculture can act as a driving force in the development process. The Vision 2020 document of the Central Department of Agriculture and Cooperation, DAC, envisages that the tools of IT will provide networking of agriculture sector not only in the country but also globally and the center and state government departments will have reservoir of databases AgriceNet, Agris, AG MarkNet, DACnet, IRENet, NDMnet, etc. as a step towards reaching agricultural knowledge and technology to the smallholders of the country. IT plan for agriculture sector AGRISNET was submitted to Ministry of Agriculture in 1997 to establish Indian Agriculture Online and revised in 2000. Agriclinic and agribusiness centers will be set up outside the government setup to facilitate unemployed agricultural graduates to generate income and employment through knowledge services for farmers. The emerging technologies on last mile problems provide required technology solutions to establish agri-clinic and agri-business centers at sub-district level. ICT's diffusion and infusion have many potential applications spanning the breadth of the agricultural industry at all scales of organization from farmer to cooperative and professional bodies, from farm missionary vendors, fertilizer and chemical companies mobile technology farmers in developing countries are beginning to own mobile phones with more than 320 million mobile subscribers in china already and 150 million mobile phones among the 200 million mobile phones projected for india by 2007 the mobile phone looks like tomorrow's most likely access device for agricultural market information for farmers Seed-related information is the most frequently accessed information, followed by market price, plant protection, fertilizer application, seed variety selection, best cultivation practices, protection from weather-rated damage, plant disease remedies, price realization. Nano Ganesh is a technology which allows farmers to use mobile phones to remotely monitor and switch on irrigation pumps used for watering crops in remote locations. It remotely checks to see that there is electricity and to automatically turn the pump on and off, all through a mobile phone. It helps the farmer avoid various difficulties in reaching remote water pumps. Precision farming, popular in developed countries, extensively uses IT to make direct contribution to agricultural productivity. The techniques of remote sensing using satellite technologies, geographical information systems, agronomy and soil sciences are used to increase the agricultural output. Case IH Advanced Farming Systems AFS, have been at the forefront of precision farming for more than a decade, giving farmers the ability to control the entire crop production cycle. The main objectives of precision farming are Development of sensor-based systems for assessing spatial and temporal variability of soil, moisture, crop and weed parameters and creating databases by adapting available components. Development and adaptation of precision applicators for seed, fertilizers, herbicides and water to address site-specific variability. Finally, we conclude the essentials of AIT such as awareness databases, decision support systems, systems that facilitate Indian farmers, information on new opportunities, monitoring systems for corrective measures.